Hello and welcome to this 4am Team Control Point Master video tutorial. If you're wondering why I am whispering, um, because it's 4am and you shouldn't shout at 4am because I have my window open and people can hear me outside and I don't want to wake people up or don't want to wake my mum or my sister up so um, I'm going to be quiet. Right, we're going to make a Team Control Point Master. Your Team Control Point Master is basically a god to all of your control points, it uh, all of your control points relate to your team control point master, and they ask it what to do, and your team control point master tells them what to do, and your control points do it basically. So to make your team control point master, you need to put an entity in your map. So to make an entity, you need to click on the entity tool, click on your map, select your entity. You can right click on it and go to properties, or you can double click on it on the 3D view. You need to change this to a team control point master and then go to apply. Now you have a team control point master. Um, change its name to something random like team control point master or control point master. I don't know why I've called it this, but you know, there's probably some logical reason that I can't think of, but I'm going to call it control point master because I like giving entities names. Um, Start disabled, you don't want it to start disabled. Material for red base icon, you don't want to change this, nor do you want to change the material for blue base icon because it will probably break something. I don't know what it will break, but if you change this, then your map will go and just die and it won't work. So leave it as it is. Cap layout, remember in my pre this is very important because remember in my creation of control point video tutorial, I told you to put indexes for all of your control points and they have to be unique so on the flag I told you to put index which has to be unique so I put for control point 1 near the red zone 0 I put the middle control point to 1 and the third control point to 2 um, on your team control point master you have to put all of these in so you have to put 0, 1 and 2 and uh, this will make them appear on the HUD they appear anyway in the HUD if you leave this blank, but if you put all the values in, you can configure them and how they will look on the HUD. So I'm going to take you to the Valve Developer Wikipedia, uh, which is this, and um, it will tell you what to do in how to make your boxes that appear on the HUD look really nice and look different. For example, you've got an inverted gravel pit one, you've got all these different ones. Basically, select the one you want, so if you want because you've only got three control points in um, in this because I've only got three control points in, in this v uh, video tutorial map um, I'm going to I want to do an inverted gravel pit style um, in-game appearance for my control point boxes so what I'm going to do I'm going to put because um, I have 0, 1 and 2 and I want 0 and 1 to be on top and then 2 to have a line break and then two to be underneath so you have you would have uh, zero and one and then underneath you would have two just like this looks um, that's how it will appear if you put that code into your cat playout um, commas are line breaks as you can see if you go down to a five control point it's got a comma after one and three so you've got one and three a comma makes a line break then you put zero two and four which are on the bottom um, you can have multiple line breaks it's really up to you so I'll put this link into the comment down the side so you can have a look and um, and it depends what you want to do with your map um, restrict team from winning I usually select neither this basically means do you want to uh, restrict the team from winning um, it really depends uh, what you want to do do you want to restrict the team from winning or or do you want to let uh, any team win so because I'm not a baddie I'm going to leave it to neither so neither team can't win so every team can win so I'm going to leave it as neither you can change it to red and blue but that's really up to you depending on what type of map you're making or if you're just a bad person um, switch teams on map win if you've this depends on the map you're making if you've only made a, a one or two stage map it's advisable to increase the length of your map in general um, it's, it's advised to go to yes so when you've played both both rounds or both stages in your um, in your map, you get to the end, and whereas if you selected no, the map would just change to the next map in the rotation. 
If you select yes, it will replay the map again. However, both teams will be swapped. So the red team will become the blue team, and the blue team will become the red team, and you'll and you'll play the map again. This is good, as I said, too, if you want to increase the length of your map. Um, scoring style: add the team score for each round. Each round one. Basically, if you've won a round, so if the red team have captured, because they own this one anyway, if they have captured this control point, they have captured this control point, and pushed the blues all the way back, and they've won. Um, this will add a one to the red to the red scoreboard. Or if you've if they've have one already, then it will add another one. So you'll have two. It's just basically it will just add one to the scoreboard. However, um, yeah, that's it. And if you change it to an add team score for each captured point, it will add a one for each point each point that you have captured. So it's um, this can make maps very very short if the server admin that your map is playing on has a I think it's um, a round limit, so the map will change after um, a point limit. Sorry, this can make it very short, so just be careful as it can make and break your map. This can make your map very popular or very unpopular depending on what type of map you're making. Um, play all rounds before change level. If you select it to change level normally, this will override. Um, this won't override um, the MP time limit. So if you've got a 30, mi if the server admin has a 30 minute MP time limit on the map, um, and it reaches 30 minutes. Your map has been playing for 30 minutes. Uh, everything will stop, and the and the map will change. Um, however, if you select it um, to only change level after all mini rounds have been played to completion, so that means if you've reached the end, so the map will only change once you've won the current um, stage you're on, and or the current round you're on. So you will so you will have a chance to win to get to the end and win and then the map will change again this can have a make or break your map um, so be careful with this um, the bottom one I have no idea what it means um, rate at which to give partial cap points for area captures I don't understand what that means there is no help topic on it and there's no develop uh, there's no wikipedia article about it so I leave it to zero I have changed it to one two and three and it's made no difference so um, just leave it at zero and it seems to work once you've done that, go to apply, go to cancel, and now you've got a team control point master. Put it anywhere in your map, it doesn't matter where it goes, as long as it's inside the constraints of your map. And now you have a god which your control points answer to, so that's it for now. And um, if you have any problems, PM me on YouTube and I'll help you out as much as I can. All the best, and good luck mapping.